So today we're also doing a quick and easy chili recipe. So I have one pound of pork and one pound of beef. Getting in. So I already have one that's already mixed. So two pounds total, I'm going to stick into a cold pot. To this, I'm going to add two cups of cold water. With my hands, I'm going to break this up. And add another two cups of water. Make sure this is all broken up. And then we'll cook this up until it's cooked. So I don't think, I wasn't recording, but now that the video, I mean, now that the uh, water is dissolved, I added one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of MSG, three teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of paprika, one, uh, one teaspoon of red chili flakes, two teaspoons of cumin, and I'm going to add now three teaspoons of garlic powder. Two and three. With one packet of the Saison Goza. So I'm going to add one can of tomato sauce, and then this is a 10 ounce of this Rotel mild diced tomato and green chilies here. Okay, now at this point, since everything's cooked, we can kind of try to see what it tastes like. Okay, so it's very tomatoey. So I'm gonna change it up and add some more spices. We'll do two more teaspoons of salt. Let's do two teaspoons of vinegar, preferably apple cider, but I don't have that. Ready? I'll do about three more teaspoons of chili powder. Another teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm actually gonna put two, one more. And I'll put the ingredients down in the description too. All right, so an extra teaspoon of paprika and I'll do another teaspoon of cumin. So we're going to add an extra teaspoon of sugar. And then what their can that we used earlier, the 15 ounce one, we're going to fill that up with water. And add sugar in there. Because I don't have tomato paste, I'm going to thicken this up with uh, cornstarch. So now I'm going to try this again. 
I think I need some more salt. So let's go. Another teaspoon of salt. I need some more chili powder. So I'm just gonna add two more. Another teaspoon of paprika. And one more cumin. Alrighty. And a few splashes of Worcestershire. I want to say that's about half a teaspoon. So, so far it tastes really good. Ouch. Let me try this one more time. Okay, so the more this simmers down, the flavors are going to change a little bit. So I'm going to sit for about 10 minutes and come back with the slurry. Okay, so we're going to add another teaspoon of sugar. And we can do a half of a teaspoon of salt. Let's try that out. I think you go another teaspoon of vinegar. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna add another half a teaspoon of Worcestershire. So in total, in this dish, we have one full teaspoon. All right, we're gonna do last time half a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt. And then a dash of Worcestershire. I think that's good. All right, so let's see. I'm mixing two and a half teaspoons of cornstarch with a third cup of water. Just little by little. I might not even need the whole thing. So we're gonna change this. So half of a third cup. What's half of a third cup? One sixth. Huh? One sixth. So one sixth of a cup with um, a teaspoon and a half of cornstarch. Total we'll need. Let's see if this changes the flavor a little bit. I actually just added the entire thing of the cornstarch slurry. So a third cup of corn uh, water with two and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. So, so far this is good. I'm just gonna add, if you don't have to, another half teaspoon, or do a full teaspoon of chili flakes, because I like it spicy. So in order for the cornstarch to work, you want your heat up high, but because it's so thick, now that it's done getting thick, as you can tell, I'm going to turn this down low. Give this a taste. Yep, that is delicious. We're good. This is bomb. 